Okay, I just wanted to talk you through um, using Windows Media Player and why some people prefer using it over iTunes. The main thing that you can do is you can manage your files, your music files, and copy it across onto a SD card with no issues. Unfortunately, you can't do this with iTunes. It's an extremely complicated and complex way of moving music onto a device. And that's why some people do prefer to do this. I personally do a combination. I would use iTunes, have my music on there, but I'll also have um, backup um, files, which I also use a Windows Media Player when I use a, a PC, that is. So... You might be wondering, well if I've got a file, how do I get it onto Windows Media Player? Well it's quite easy really, if you go open up Windows Media Player and go into Organize, Manage Libraries, uh, click Music, basically you can choose from where your music comes from. Um, I've got a default here under Users, Paul music um, but if you've moved music from an SD card onto your hard drive in a, a different location it may be on your C drive somewhere um, under a different name it, um, all you need to do is click on add find your location and uh, click on it and then um, click on include folder and then it will update the library and um, it'll basically put all those files into Windows Media Player so you can play them. So it's quite simple and straightforward um, and I just hope a brief overview of that has been helpful if your choice is to prefer use Windows Media Player because as you can see here um, I've got obviously a library just like you might have with iTunes um, you know and the choice is yours really which you prefer because the thing with media player is I can move all these files all this music onto a smartphone with an SD card um, quite easily and simply um, iTunes is m a lot more complicated than that um, and I just hope a brief overview of what Windows Media Player can offer you. Um, the one thing that Media Player doesn't do is include some sort of encryption that iTunes does. You can't simply just drag and drop um, um, some music off um, iTunes and put it onto a smartphone onto an SD card because it doesn't allow you to do it. However, if you're using something like Media Player, it, it can. But the choice is yours, which you prefer. Um, I've got both devices. I've got iPhone and, um, you know, um, a stand, uh, and uh, a Sony uh, smartphone. So I do both. So I always find it easier to have files for music in a separate location on on Windows Media Player, as well as using iTunes with my iPhone. So the choice is yours.